Welcome everyone, Farmer Cop here. Today we are going to go over some of my top 10 basic tips to help get you started in Farming Simulator 19 if you are a new player to the game. If this is what you're looking for, please stay tuned. All right, folks, so welcome to another Farmer Cop video. Today, we're gonna go over my top 10, just kind of basic tips. If you're new to the game, you don't know anything, these are what I would say and recommend to get you going so you don't get frustrated with the game, you're not making it very far, or you just see, because I get a lot of people asking me questions, and the point of this video is not to stop those questions. I'm happy to answer those questions, but it seems like a lot of you have a lot of questions about the game as far as, you know, where do I get started? There's a lot to this game, um, and a lot of different things you should maybe find out or know about before you kind of get into it. So this is kind of what I'd recommend watching to get you going into the game so without further ado we'll go ahead and get started the first tip i have for you is start in new farmer mode there's a few reasons for that first off if you start in new farmer mode um, it will give you all the equipment all the basic equipment you need to get a farm off the ground and i also recommend starting in ravenport and the reason for that being is there's actually a tutorial on there to kind of help you out um, so we'll go ahead and do that and yeah so just start in new farmer mode and i'll show you what i mean here once we get into the game and this is what I'm talking about. So welcome to Farming Center. Would you like to start a short guided tour? This will show you the basics of the game. You can probably hit yes on that if you need to. Um, it will help you out quite a bit. So um, now it won't teach you everything, obviously. The tutorials in this game given aren't great, um, but it's available for you. So, okay. So now that we're in new farm mode, the reason you want to start new farm mode is because if you go into the map here, you already start off owning everything you need. So down here, we own this the land down here, these fields down here. And if we tab around, we have the equipment for harvesting. We have the equipment for plowing or cultivating. We have a cedar and we have a trailer and a tractor for that. So you have everything you could ever need to actually get going in farming simulator. Um, so that is why I recommend starting a new farm mode um, as well. Um, because otherwise, if you don't know what you're doing or know what to buy, then you're going to go in the store. You're going to be like, well, I need a tractor, but which one should I get? And yes, they're all at the end of the day are kind of similar, but you might be like, well, I don't know if I need, you know, which, which harvester do I need? Everything like that. Um, if you already know some of these basics and this may not apply to you, again, these are just my tips if you're first coming onto the game and first starting out. Um, so take whatever ones you want with that. But uh, yeah. Um, another tip I would say if you are uh, gonna start out sell stuff you don't need in game That is tip number two. So sell stuff you don't need So and what I mean by that if we go into the, the store here go in the garage at what we own We probably want to hold on to our equipment because we probably need that for the time being um, But if we go down here if you don't need some of this stuff that's down here This is all decorative stuff by the way then go ahead and sell that 40,000 you're gonna get another 35,000 from that you might want to hold on to our silos and our storage but other than that yeah, this stuff is all just kind of decorative, so we can just kind of sell all this stuff off. And this won't happen on every map you play on, um, but it's great on here. And I do recommend starting on avoiding a modded map to start, um, just because it's more basic on the basic maps, just so you can kind of get started and get the basics before you jump to something different. Um, do keep on to your, or do hold on to your farmhouse though. So that is my other tip there for you. My third tip is probably something that you may or may not think about, but uh, if you, especially if you're new to the game, but uh, mods. So mods, what, what mods do you start with? What mods don't you start with? I would recommend just no mods to start off. I know that's crazy for some, especially me, because I love mods and I use mods in every single game I play. But I would say just avoid them at first. If you notice when I loaded in our, our new farmer mode game uh, for tip one, I didn't put any mods and I hit deselect all. But anyhow, because if you go onto this main screen, you go into these mods, there are so many. These are just categories. These aren't mods. Then if we go into a category like, um, I don't know what's a big one, probably trailers. Let's go into trailers. There's so many different ones. The green ones are all the ones that have come out recently. Everything that's got that green mark. There are so many different mods in game that I would just say, unless there's one really specific mod that you've heard about that you really want to try, just hold off on the mods or, or slowly introduce them, I would say, because there's so much in here. Um, but if you are wondering how to download a mod, all you do is come into the mod hub, in-game mod hub. This should be for all platforms. Click on the mod you want, and then all you have to do is hit install, and it will say it will install it. And then to activate it, if we uh, come out into the game, when you're loading into the game, it'll give you a list of all the mods you have installed. Just double click on the one you want to add in, and it'll have a check mark by it. So anyhow, that is tip number three. Tip number four is don't go too big too fast. So yes, there are these other two game options. This one starts you with nothing. So that's kind of a challenge. I would avoid that 
especially if you're a new player. Farm manager, I would also probably avoid as well. So the difference being this starts you off with $100,000 and some of and all, and basically all the starting equipment you'll need. This one starts you off with significant money and nothing. So let's jump into here. And the reason I say you probably shouldn't do this, um, and again, we're gonna do no mods here, start that off. Um, the reason I'd say you probably shouldn't do this is for the following reasons here. You get on here, you have $1.2 million up in the bank, so you're thinking, okay, let me go in the menu here. Um, I'm gonna need a decent size field. You know what, this one looks good. That's, uh, yeah, 428, we can afford that. Let's go ahead and buy that. Um, okay, perfect, we have a field, then you're gonna go in the store, you're like, okay, let's go over here. We're gonna need a tractor, but we have some money. Let's get a decent tractor. Not even too expensive one. We'll get one of these guys, we'll buy that. Yep, yep, okay, perfect. Then um, we're gonna need uh, probably something to plant stuff. So we'll go over here, we're gonna get ourselves a cedar. Uh, we want to get a decent one because we don't want it to take us too long. We'll get this guy. We'll buy that. Yep. Get that. Okay, perfect. And then, well, we're going to need something to cultivate afterwards. So we'll get a decent cultivator. Um, we'll get this We'll get this guy right here. Um, but this guy's 300 horsepower. So we already need a bigger tractor as well now. So we'll have to go buy that or lease that. Um, then we're going to look over here at harvesters. Well, shoot. You know, we don't want to use a small harvester. Um, and where I'm going with this is all of a sudden your money is dwindling and then if you get out of money then you're not to go in here then you're going to start taking out a loan um and the reason if you can manage your money well and you can do this well you think and you know how to play the game then this is something maybe you can do but otherwise um it's very easy if you're new to the game to just spend all your money really quick and then be struggling and struggling to make it back um, it's very difficult to do. Farm manager is actually a fairly difficult mode to be in because of that, because you don't have everything you start off with. Um, so that's something that I would recommend avoiding um, just to begin with. All right, for this next step, I'm back on that first game we loaded in a new farm mode. So this one is contracts. You need to be doing some contracts. If you have free time, if you're working your fields, you only have a new farm mode, you have these four fields. You're working them, you're getting them taken care of. Um, so go on here and go to the contract screen and start doing different contracts. Um, and one thing I'd recommend is borrowing the items, especially in new farmer mode when you don't have a lot of stuff, then you can use their stuff. It does lower the amount you make I'll buy a little bit, but, uh, the, the reason I recommend doing contracts, maybe not transporting right away, but other ones is because for example, this one, you get to test out some different sugar beet harvesting equipment. So you get to try out that equipment. You get to learn what it does. Fertilizing, you try out this fertilizer here. Harvesting cotton, you get to try out the cotton uh, harvester there without having to buy it. The cotton harvester is almost $500,000. So, um, it, contracts are a fantastic way not only to earn extra money for your farm when you're starting out and you're kind of struggling to get by, but they're also a fantastic way to learn what different equipment does and learn if there's different crop types that you're interested in doing later on. So that's one thing I'd recommend. Um, and while we're sitting in here, we are harvesting wheat, which is what the the, uh, the game starts you off with. Um, my next tip is to stay with basic crops. And what I mean by basic crops, let's go into the menu here just to show you the crop types. Crops that you should start off with and kind of limit yourself to, I would say, be wheat, barley, oats. So wheat, barley, oats, sorry, canola, and soy. Limit yourself to those. That's what I'd say, because these two are not, you don't have the equipment for these two, um, and a lot of this other stuff is going to get kind of more complex as you go down the line. So just kind of limit yourself to those basic crops to start. And you might ask, well, how do I, I don't know how to grow those crops. I'm new to the game. The tutorials aren't super helpful. What I would say is, um, that's going to kind of move into my next tip, which is uh, read and watch tutorials. Find a YouTuber, whether it's me or not, it doesn't matter. Find a YouTuber that does this stuff um, and puts out tutorial videos. That's why there's so many tutorials for Farming Simulator because it's not well explained in game. Go do watch tutorials on what you want to do. Look up how to grow wheat. Watch that tutorial. Look up how to grow canola. Watch that tutorial. Though those two crops are very similar, go watch a tutorial on it. Um, and then also in here, just note you do have some basic help in here. And these things, I know there's it looks like there's a lot of information in here there really isn't and what i would recommend is reading through all this you'd probably read through it in about 10 15 minutes uh, if you're not someone who likes to read anything at all then just go watch a bunch of tutorial videos but um, that is another tip i have for you as well all right my next couple of tips are kind of tied together so the first thing i would say is animals can wait you can hold off on animals figure out how to grow crops before you do animals animals are more complicated uh, if you jump in the store and you go over here there's all these animal pens in here chickens especially oh that doesn't seem like a lot of money to get going you only need wheat and barley well i already know how to grow those so i can probably feed them that i would say hold off on them go watch tutorials on them first and see if there's something you're interested in doing um, in the first place, but they're a huge outlier. There's a lot of different equipment and stuff you need to buy 
of these. Um, and that also kind of ties in with, my, I guess, my next two tips. So my next tip after that is probably to um, do research before you buy something. Do research. And what I mean by that is if you're like, okay, you know what? I want to do, uh, I want to do cows. So if you go in here, you're going to look at, um, where are we at here? Cow pasture. Okay, so $100,000 there. Okay, we need that. So um, then what do we need for cows? Well, you need it. If you don't know this, that's okay. But as far as doing cows, what you're going to need, you probably need a straw blower. And this is if you're using just basic equipment. You're going to need a feed mixer. So you need a feed mixer there. You're going to need a water tanker to need a straw blower. So there's some different different things you have to buy first. So add up the total cost for what you're going to buy and see if you can actually afford it. And then also include the cost of animals for that too. Cows are 2500 bucks a piece to buy. If you have all the money to get everything set up, but you don't have any cows, it's not going to help you. So, and that applies to everything. If you're thinking about um, going in here and let's say you're like, well, you know what? I kind of want to do some sugar cane. You're like, okay, well, let me look at the cost. That's expensive. Okay. Let me go over here. Um, take a look into here under sugar cane technology. Oh, well, I need a special planter for it. Stuff like that. I'm not trying to throw out a bunch of information about sugarcane, but I'm just saying go watch a tutorial about it first to see if it's something you're interested in doing and then do the math. See how much it's going to cost you to get going on a crop or an animal type or some other entity. Um, my final tip, which some of you will absolutely disagree with, I know, and that's okay. As I would say to start, avoid grass work. Grass work requires different equipment that you're not going to start off with most times in new farm mode. Some maps do start you off with it, but if you're going along with these tips and you're starting off in um, either Ravenport or Fellsburn, I would recommend Ravenport first, um, then I would say avoid grass work. Because grass work, you're going to look in here, you're going to need, um, you're going to need mowers, um, depending on if you're going to do uh, hay or not, you might need a tether, um, you might need a windrower. Uh, to do that as well year then you're gonna need a way to pick it up So you're either gonna need a baler or you're gonna need a loading wagon So you're looking at a lot of different expensive equipment that you're gonna need So I just say avoid it to start and you're not gonna make a ton of money off of it Yes, there's silage and all that other stuff you can do but uh, again watch a tutorial video on it and figure that out first uh, anyhow guys that is all my tips that is all 10 of them for you so uh, i know some of you might be like those don't apply to me that's fine they're just out there in case you are new to the game and you're looking for something to kind of guide you those are the things that i found or i wish i would have known when i started playing farming simulator and this is coming from someone with over five or six thousand hours in the game um, those are the things that kind of i wish i would have known at the beginning to help me you know get going and get uh, more knowledge of the game so that's what i would recommend doing just to start you off but uh anyhow if you found this video useful or uh yeah or you liked it at all you go ahead and drop a like down below if you haven't already hit that subscribe button down below um to join the channel and turn on your notification bell so you don't miss any future videos i may post but this has been farmer cop guys thank you for coming and watching